It's Spark Ideas, the inspirational talks from the nerd girls. This one's Steve McDonough and how precious it is to share time. Sorry, but <laughs> otherwise we've got else's session. So today's session is called... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a time right there. Time as a, as a oh, big oh, good joy. Right, um, nice session. Um, well, first of all, Gab asked for volunteers um, to stand here and be inspiring. So I was going to stand here for six minutes and bask in the wonderfulness that is me. Or Dalkey. Not Dalkey, it's Dingwall. Dingwall. Uh, however, Gab did say that I actually had to say something and that something had to be inspiring. Now, I want to use uh, an advert to start with um, that was part of, I believe, the Hennessy campaign. And it was a very simple advert with nice rivers and things, but there was a, a tagline in it that said, Time is too precious to waste and too precious not to share. And in, in essence, that's what I'm going to talk about for the next six minutes. <coughs> um, we all in this room work in a collaborative space. We should know how to share. But what we don't do is we don't share outside the business office. Everybody here can find one or two hours a week. That's all I was. All I'm asking for people to do is find one or two hours a week and go out there and volunteer to do something. I was relatively lucky. I grew up in a house with some very strange parents. Mainly strange because they had me as a son, but <laughs> they were they, they they found volunteering for things and sharing of their time and effort was a good thing. And I grew up with that and I understand that. And the elements of volunteering aren't that you go out and do good things, it's you go out and do something that means something to you. One of the things I volunteer at at the minute is picking up rubbish that other walkers drop up mountains. My friend Andy and I, when we were out for a walk in Northern Ireland, <coughs> up some of what we call mountains, but are basically just big dents. Um, <laughs> Lots of other people do it and they drop water bottles. We take a bag with us and we pick those water bottles up and we take them back and we dump them. That's volunteer. That's all you have to do. There are other ways to volunteer. Go to your local library or your local community centre. There will be people there crying out for people like you to go along and give one to two hours a week. That's all you have to find. And you will make a difference. And making a difference makes you feel or my French, fucking good. It really does. You come home at the end of your one or two hours and you feel like you have achieved something. <coughs> and that I find is missing in a lot of people's lives. That yes, you go to work, you do all the things, you are, your job defines you. But if you find that two or three minutes a day or one or two hours a week to go out and make a difference to somebody else's life or your environment or whatever, you will have a much better time and you will feel better and that will make you feel good. And if I inspire one person to go out next week and do two hours work with the conservation volunteers fixing a style on the company's half near you, or washing some windows, <coughs> or helping the librarians in your library, that will have made a difference to both you and your community. It's very difficult sometimes because <coughs> volunteering has this long-haired, hippie, do-gooder attitude, sort of wrapped around it. And ordinary people like yourselves can make a difference. And making that difference is what makes us a collaborative community. UK not being a case in point. <coughs> the organising committee, of which for some strange reason they invited me to be a member, we give up our time, we come here, we have a great conference, and we leave, and we all feel pretty good about it. I'm sure you feel pretty good about it, yeah? Yes. yes. <laughs> Bill, we're not too sure about, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, and you all enjoy yourselves, and the looks in your faces at the end of the conference, if people have done their sessions well, and you leave here inspired to go back to your <coughs> office. This last six minutes <coughs> of, of this particular session is maybe forget about the domino, Forget about the, the, the connections. It's go out and make connections within your community. 
and in doing that you will better yourself and you will better the community. And that's all I have to say.